Today we are going to be talking about some mods and upgrades that we have made to our RV. Now, after you've been living in your RV with your family full time for any stretch of time, you start to realize some things that are working and some things that are not working. So today we're going to talk about some of the mods and upgrades that we have made to our rig to be able to make full time living a little bit easier and a little bit less stressful. Irma Gerd. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a slight mess with heater duct. And I have to say, I do not think that this, I don't think that this happened when we owned this. I think this was from like prior to us owning it because we've taken some really good measures to prevent rodents. So I know we haven't had any, but wow, what a mess this heater ducting is under this J couch. So we've already cleaned up the AC. There was a bunch of stuff up in the um, AC shrouds and so we cleaned that all up. So now we were basically trying to, one of these had a hole in it and we had to you know, pull it a little bit to try and get the clamp off. And basically when I did pull it, all of this stuff came out. Like you can see in there bunch of mouse turds and stuff. nastiness all over. This is a mess. This is an utter mess. Alright, so I went to Lowe's and got some new stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and route this through here and we have a brand new heater duct. New uh, heater duct here, nice and fresh heater duct. So underneath of this particular J couch is some heater duct work and you can see these vents here. Now we had some interesting things happened this summer where the kids would stack stuff on the back and it would fall behind. And so we were having to pull this off of where it's clipped into all of the time to retrieve lost items, which made us realize there is a ton of space that is underneath of this particular couch. So because we also needed to do some work and replace some of the heater ducting that was here, we realized there is a ton of space underneath here that is not being utilized and was completely empty, but could also not be utilized because of how this front piece went on. This whole piece was one solid piece. So to be able to pull it off, you had to pull the whole thing. So my husband and I had a great idea and he was able to execute on that idea. So what we did is we installed two hinges here and actually cut this board and then made it to where it can swing open just as you see here. Now we've got a few more bins that we can have underneath here for storage for things like clothing or books. Books last summer were my nemesis where our kitchen counter was overflowing with books and with stuffed animals and with all of the things that our daughter likes to carry with us because this is her space here and it overflowed into the kitchen. So this year that won't happen because now we've been able to add two more bins underneath of this couch with a simple mod of ingenuity and maybe just a slight little bit of skill. So now one of the first mods that we did was needing to create some privacy for both of our kids. Now we have a class A motorhome and we purposefully chose this particular motorhome because it had two opposing couch areas. Unlike a lot of motorhomes that have a bunkhouse near the back bedroom, we did not want that type of setup for our family. We wanted to have the kids a little bit closer to the front where we had the bedroom closer to the back. So when we were shopping for a different motor home, we purposefully wanted one with two couches and that's what we did. Now we have one of our kiddos that sleeps on one couch on one side and then the other on the other side. 
but it became very quickly apparent that even with that setup and plenty of space for them for sleeping, they needed a little bit more privacy than just what that couch provided. So one of the very first mods that we did was to hang these curtains on the couch areas. Now this was very cheap and this was very easy. So all that I did is I went to Walmart and I got command hooks, a curtain rod, and then I actually used these repurposed curtains that we had on hand from one of our kids' bedrooms. So the nice thing about this is it's got three command hooks so that it's supported in the middle as well. And then these curtains just slide over this sleeping space. And so this is our daughter's sleeping space on this side. And then over on this side is where our son's sleeping space is. So same thing, just command hooks and curtain rod. And then I bought these curtains at Walmart as well. So they each have curtains that they can slide over their sleeping spaces for privacy, changing clothes, just if they have had enough of one another and need some privacy. Now, the great thing about this is that even while we are driving down the road and these slides come in, they can still use these curtains as we're going down the road. So they can still have that private space, even as we're traveling on travel days, if they feel like that they need that space. It makes a great privacy area for their own personal space, which kind of leads me into mod number two. Now, mod number two is something that we took this idea from the previous owners that we bought this rig from and just kind of went a little bit bigger scale. But what that second mod is, is underneath of this particular couch, which this couch is a jackknife. So it jackknifes into a bed. So underneath of here, this comes off and you have space that is underneath of here. The previous owners actually modified some of these totes. So these totes, if you just go to the store and get them, are too long to fit underneath there. So they've cut them in half and used some Gorilla Tape and some duct tape with some screws to make them the exact length that they need to be to fit underneath here. Now, this is great for downsizing and for kids because what we've told our kids is that they get to bring whatever will fit in the tote. If it doesn't fit in the tote, it doesn't need to come with us. So they each have one that will be specifically for their clothes. So one tote will be for clothes for our daughter and one tote will be for clothes for our son. And then the third tote can be used for things like books or toys or stuffed animals or what we have found always happens is we always end up picking up a ton of souvenirs on the way in the form of things like seashells or just little things that we find here and there that the kids want to bring back with them as a memento. So we actually try to leave this third tote a little bit empty to be able to have that extra space for extra things to come with us. So the next mod that we made to the RV was some organizational things from Ikea. Now, I love going to Ikea to be able to check for things for small living because they always have great things to help make that easier. One of the things that I found is this trash can that actually mounts to the wall and then you just put like a grocery sack on the inside of this. Now, I had one of these that I put in our back bedroom, but I quickly realized these also work great for storage and organization as well. So I added a second one in our bathroom area to be able to put like our cleaning bottles and our disinfectant wipes and all of that in a second bin then to be able to get those things up off of the floor where they were before and against the walls. The next thing that I got from Ikea was this organizational rack. Now this is amazing and a lifesaver for travel days because where we used to have things like toothbrushes and toothpaste in just cups sitting on the counter, this means they can be up off of the counter and we don't have to do anything different on travel days. Every travel day, you always clear the counters off when you have a rig, whether it's a travel trailer or a motorhome like we have. But now we don't have to worry about clearing this counter space off anymore other than just a thing of hand soap that will transfer to up here. 
but this works great for toothbrushes and toothpaste and combs and brushes in anything that you would normally put on your bathroom counter. So it's up, it's away, it's tidy, and you don't have to worry about then changing that location of those items during your travel days. So another one of the mods that we made was in our back bedroom, we got rid of those old window box with the day night shades. So what I did is I installed a curtain rod at the top, but also at the bottom so that these curtains easily slide back and forth on these two rods and I did it then on both sides on this window and then we have another window now the nice thing about this is that it's nice and it's secure so it's very easy to go back and forth and it's going to block out the majority of the light and then this was very easy to modify I bought an existing curtain and then I cut it at the bottom and then I just used a sewing machine to put another channel at the bottom basically to slide along this lower curtain rod. Now here's the deal. I'm not Susie Homemaker. I'm not like an amazing seamstress. You want something super crafty? Don't call me. But I can at least sew a straight line on a sewing machine. <laughs> So this type of mod is not difficult at all, even if you don't have super amazing sewing skills to be able to do when it comes to curtains. Now, the next mod that we have done, and I swear this is a RVers inside secret, is command hooks. You can never have too many command hooks. So as you can see on this wall, I have command hooks. And if you do a tour of our RV, you're going to see command hooks on nearly every door and every wall. And this is why, because there's so much wall space that can be utilized. So we use command hooks for things like hanging up towels after a shower to dry, for things like hanging up a ball cap, for things like hanging up your jacket at the end of the day. I also hang my pajamas at the end of the day so that I have them just easily accessible to change back into at night but you can never have too many command hooks around in your RV because they come in useful for so many different things. Now let's talk RV upgrades. One of the things that a ton of RVers do is immediately they upgrade their mattress. Well, the mattress that came with our rig wasn't horribly uncomfortable, but it was not the most comfortable thing we've slept on either. However, we didn't want to invest a ton of money into it at the time. So what we did is we installed a memory foam mattress topper, and we'll put a link in the description below to the one we got on Amazon, but this has made a world of difference. So this provides lots of the comfort that you would find in a traditional memory foam mattress without the price tag of a whole new mattress. So this is one of the upgrades that we did immediately that helps us have a way better night's sleep and made things much more comfortable for full-time living. So another upgrade that we made was in this TV area. Now, when we purchased this RV, what was in this area was one of the old, really CRT type of TVs that had the tube in the back and they're super heavy. In fact, it was so heavy that this was actually starting to separate from where it's mounted to the ceiling because of the weight that was in this. So one of the upgrades that we made was of course a flat screen TV, but we also added this Bose soundbar. Now the nice thing about this Bose soundbar is that it's actually plugged in to a plug that has power when the inverter is on. So we can use this for sound if we want as we're driving down the road in addition to when we're just hooked up to power normally. So it was a nice upgrade and it fits very nice within this whole space so it doesn't take up any additional room. So another one of the upgrades that we made was to change out the stock stereo for this particular stereo that has Apple CarPlay. Now this is nice because not only can you attach it with Bluetooth through one of your phones, you can attach it with the cable as well and you'll be able to then use the navigation that's built in. Another one of the things that we then added was some extra speakers. Now. This is kind of a funny upgrade if you think about it, because while we're calling them dash speakers, 
you'll see they're really just some smaller speakers that we've set onto the dashboard with some adhesive underneath to keep them from moving on travel days but it creates a very nice stereo setup for when you are driving down the road to be able to enjoy those driving tunes. Thank you so much for watching this video on RV mods and upgrades. We hope that you enjoyed it and we invite you to like this video as well as to subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so that you never miss when one of our new videos goes live. Also, if you know others that would find this content helpful, feel free to share it with them. Lastly, if you'd like some more tips on RV organization, be sure to check out our RV tour video at the link above. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.